well this is exciting squeezing down lanes between lorries and such like and now we're rising up which hopefully means our rail bridge there we go power bridge that'll do nicely somewhere to park Breathing. This is what we're looking at today. It's the uh, Gloucester South Wales line there, and we're looking at the branch line which went out to Ross on Wye, where it met up with the line coming from Monmouth. And the idea, I believe, at some stage was to carry on then up into the Midlands. Didn't quite get that far. The uh, Gloucester main line was completed in 1851. Our line completed as a broad gauge railway in 1855. So, GWR then. It was actually closed in 1964. I think with most of these old railways, if you said they were open mid 1800s and closed in 1964, you'd probably be right about most of them. Now, what's to be seen? Is there anything left? Can we find anything? Only one way to find out. Go and take a look. And here's our railway. The track bed gets wider here. And our line diverged. And on the opposite side, our railway disappears into there. Lost it that way. The main line station was just where those buildings are. Mm. If we wander down here, we should find the station entrance. Which will be there then. Complete with tall pines. Why is it railways like pine trees by their stations? Right, an old remnant. Back on the road. This is here at the junction. And now we're going to go along here, under a bridge, turn round, and then see if there's anything left of this halt at Blaisden. Never know your luck. Our next feature. Nice old road bridge. There's a huge embankment through there. Hope that comes out. Leading to our bridge. Quite a pretty sight. Glad it's not raining then. A modern concrete track bed up there. That's original though, beautiful brickwork. Well, stonework then. And here's our bridge. So here we are at the next bridge then. An overbridge this time. Middle of nowhere as usual. See what we can see. Oh my word, look at that. Now is that rare or is that rare? Unbelievable really. That's a halt. Made of wood. Still here. There's dozens of halts, hundreds of halts round about in railways. None of them remain though, they've just disappeared. Everyone that I've looked for. 
and there's one intact. Well, I'm blowed. But to have a halt still there, still in position, that's incredible. But we can't get down there. Let's see if we can get some of the construction detail. Okay, onward. Pretty little village with its own halt. Has a grand entrance to the manor house. Imagine that's what it is, it was. Somebody with some money then. We thought it was narrow to here. Not looking forward to this. This is the road that we're on. Well, the track. And the railway runs alongside it for quite a way. What's the chances? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Could be. And then a little bit farther along, we find a gateway. Which leads to a narrow corridor. Could be. Quick poke in the hedge and I can't see any of our posts. So it's not guaranteed. Overgrown concrete structure here. Might have had some relevance, but there again, might have not. But you have to say, beautiful area. Okay, we'll crack on. Well, that was certainly narrow in places. Another railway is there somewhere. There's level ground just of here, in with a chance. Especially since the old black and white building there. It's likely to have been there when the railway was uh, working. So the line wouldn't have come through there. So... Looking like about there. We'll wander it along and see what we can find. Oh, there's the War Memorial. There's the old uh, centre of Long Hope. Uh, nothing out, out much hope, I don't think, at this stage. Behind me there's a well buttressed wall, like an ancient. And a road. But no railway. Still, it looks pretty. The map shows two roads with the railway going between them. Well, I reckon two roads have now become one. This is the lower of the two. Oh, I didn't hold out much hope, I don't think. Thank you. See, I've got the railways being about here somewhere. And there's a brand new dwelling there. Could be on the line. We're certainly into period properties. And the roses smell gorgeous. The old forge. Look at the chimney on the end of that. A baker's or something, do you suppose? Well, that's Church Road. All we need now is Station Road. Well, we've got Station Lane. I'll accept that. Up there somewhere then. I should be shocked and stunned if we find it, I have to say. Well, unbelievably, look what we got up here. How it got this high from where we were, I've no idea. And well, there it is. Evidently don't want us in there then. Well, what a magnificent specimen.
engineered to last and last it has. Can't imagine just building anything like this these days. I would imagine the station about there then. That's looking over the top of the gate. And looking in the other direction behind us. Well from here it looks as if the railway went straight through their backyard. Amazing. Looking back the other way, I think that's the most likely path of the railway. Well, this magnificent new dwelling here is laying claim. Somehow I don't think so. Having got back to the main road then, we'll continue up there towards Lee, see if we can find anything to film. Well, this is a useful spot. Not only is there a lovely church there, but according to the map, our railway is down there. So we get a better look. Here's the church. Here's the railway. Well, the best we can do, it looks as if the railway came in front of those buildings. Across through there. Along there, possibly. Which means it would most likely have gone along there. Yeah, pretty churchyard. We'll get on along here. A little ways farther on, and we've got actual track bed. Woo! That's the first on this one. Our engines come rumbling along here from Gloucester. Past this lovely railway fence post. Over a splendid culvert. Still doing its duty. Before crossing the A40, Gloucester Ross Road on that. Isn't that beautifully built? Good. Well, this section has involved some um, inventive parking, if you like, way off the road, but I hope this is going to be worth it. Oh. Well, it comes from over there somewhere. Around there. We're looking for the entrance to a tunnel. You can make out the opposing bank, but I can't see anything of the tunnel. I suspect it's been filled in. So as near as we're going to get. Evidence here of substantial railway fencing, as always. There you can just make out the coping stones look. You see them in an arc. <laughs> that is as near as you're going to get. Sorry about that, folks. There are some substantial keep out precautions here. You kind of get the feeling they don't want us in here. Oh, they're very polite about it. This, I think, is as good as it gets. Down there in the centre screen, you can see the track bed. And then we're right above the tunnel mouth here. Well, gotta take what you can. Right, we'll move on. That's kind of been the story of this walk, really. Uh, wrong time of year, isn't it? Too much foliage about. So you can't see much. But when there is something to see, somebody won't let you. That's uh, the joys of hunting old railways, I guess. People do seem uh, very willing to take over the railway property until something goes wrong, collapse culvert or something, 
and suddenly it's nothing to do with them. Uh, well, you have to respect their privacy, don't you? I have one more surprise in store for you. Coming up. <clears throat> this is just to point out the problems on the uh, other end of the tunnel. There's the A40 and it is down there. Not a cat in house chance. There's very little to be seen between here and Ross on Wye. Let's go station hunting. Here's the station site today in Ross. Well, at least we've got that. But just a minute, just wait a minute. What do you think that is then? What a find. Isn't that wonderful? Something special. Black and white soup, no doubt. There's no sign of the pit. Magically, what there are here are some wonderful photographs of this engine house, the restoration, and the railway as was. The only unfortunate thing is it's on the staircase to the restaurant, so you've got to get it when you can. Wonderful historic photographs. If you want to see what happens on the rest of the adventure, you can always subscribe. Share or like, always welcome. And we'll see where we get to next. <laughs>